I am Sister Miller with Seeing Time Ideas that go along with the Come Follow Me lesson, and welcome to today's show of Name That Kazoon. This was like borderline epic. You know, one of those primers you're like, that's so cool. So since we were learning about Joshua and the how they walked around the city seven times and blew their horns and the walls fell down, um, I decided this is a perfect time to pull out our kazoos. What I did was, as soon as the kids started filing in, I had this bucket of blocks. And maybe you don't have a big old bucket of blocks, maybe you just have a Jenga game or something. And I even think it would be cool if you did Jenga blocks just stacked in a circle where you could like tip one and then all the rest fell down. But I just said, hurry everybody, I need you to build me a wall in a circle. And so of course that was really exciting. And while they're doing that, I am playing songs on my iPad of the songs that they are going to be guessing, just kind of get their brains thinking of these songs. So as soon as they come in, they build the wall. As soon as they're done, they sit down. Today I used my iPad because uh, as you see, they will be playing their kazoos, and I wanted the songs still playing the words, even while they're playing their kazoos. So what I did was I started saying, let's see if you guys can name this kazoo. And I would do a quick, easy demo, like, do, 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 do. Does anybody know that song? <gasps> you named my kazoo. So I said, okay, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to play, and you guys have to guess what song it is. So then I went and I did a song and what I did was I did seven songs and I told them we're doing seven songs because the children of Israel on the seventh day had to walk around the city seven times to get the walls to fall down. So we have to do seven songs. So I did several songs that go along with what's in the lesson. For instance, they crossed the Jordan River. So we did the song Baptism and I said, can you believe that's the exact same river that Jesus got baptized in? So we did that song. I also talked about how the Lord told Joshua now that he's the new leader, how is he gonna lead? He's got a big challenge ahead. He told him to meditate on the scriptures day and night and that's what we need to do. So then we did search, ponder and pray. Of course, the song, Choose to Serve the Lord, it's not in the primary book, but um, that whole chorus, Choose to Serve the Lord, is kind of quoting what Joshua said. And I told the kids how he told them, you're going into this land with a bunch of people that don't believe what you believe. Who are you going to choose to serve? Anyway, so what I did is I said, you have to sing really loud and really good. And if you do, then you get to gazoo the song. So we sang the song, and then I had them hop up and walk around the chairs while they kazooed the song. Then I would start playing the next song, they would guess it, then we would sing the song, and then they would stand up and kazoo the song. And then we'd just repeat that. I would kazoo the next song. If they didn't guess it right off, I just kept kazooing the whole song. Because sometimes when you get to the chorus, then they can guess it. And then, of course, at the very end, I said, okay, we've gone, we've marched around the city seven times, play your kazoos really loud, and go knock the walls down. And then they liked doing that. And I said, but did the people actually have to knock the walls down? No, it was the Lord. And it, that shows you that when you choose to serve the Lord, he will be there helping you. So anyway, I got these little cheap kazoos off of eBay. It was like 50 of them. I can't remember how much they were, but they were super cheap. So um, then I just let the kids take them home with them. And in case you don't know how to play a kazoo, you put your mouth on the fat part and you just say, do, 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 do,